Hey guys, Kill Paris here. Uh, today I'm going to show you the simplest, most easy way to hook up your rock band drums for PlayStation 3 to the computer and use them as MIDI drums in Ableton. And just to prove that this is the quickest, easiest way to do this, um, I am going to reheat some nachos that I got last night. You see right here. Fresh out of the refrigerator, so it's not going to take any time at all for these to cook. In the oven. All right. All right, here we go. So, the first thing we're going to want to do is go to carveware.com and download the GamePad Companion. Install it, restart your computer, and plug in your Rock Band drums to your computer. Now click on the Apple and go to System Preferences. And mine's already open here. Um, you'll see Gamepad Companion right down there. Open it up. And by default it should kind of look like this depending on what all you have plugged into your computer. Um, down here I have the Harmonix Drum Kit which is this guy right here. And what you're going to do is go and we're going to assign the kick drum and all of these pads to keys on our keyboard. So first what you're going to want to do is assign the kick, hit the kick, go over here to single key, and press the key A. Now hit the red one. Same thing, we're going to go single key, W. Yellow, same thing. Single key, S. Blue, same thing. Single key, E. And green, single key, D. And now we're going to click start right here. Okay, and now if this is working, you will hear a very annoying apple sound when you hit any of the drums. Okay, so um, unless you just want to play that one sound, um, we can go into Ableton now and um, start having some fun. So, have our Ableton set here. You want to make sure that this keyboard over here is yellow. And what we're going to do on our keyboard here is we're going to press Z two times. And what that, what that does, Z and X actually change the octave of what your... Uh, your home row, your keyboard here is uh, sending out in MIDI information. So we're going to go down to where it's uh, C1 to D2. And now we're going to drop a drum rack over here. And now when we hit these, we should be seeing uh, MIDI information right down here. Okay, there's our kick. Okay, so now I already have a drum kit here made. Um, from here, all you have to do is drop in your own drum samples, or um, even if you want to use this to play, like let's drop the electric here real quick. Now, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot something right here. On the uh, the ins and outs, it's, I mean, it should work fine because it's to uh, the input set to all ends, but um, you can set it to uh, computer keyboard to read only um, what you're playing here. Okay, so now I've got a drum kit all made up here. As you can see, so my drum sounds kick, snare, hat closed, hat open, and a tom. Right, so the final result is awesome. So that's it. 
Um, thanks for watching. I hope you guys got something out of this. Let's go check our nachos. Um, I think they still have a couple more minutes. All right, guys. I'll catch you later.